given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Happy Virgo Tarot 2222. Two, two, two. And this morning, Cancer, it's your turn. Your 3 a.m. channeled messages reading. Let's see what God and Spirit has to say for you regarding your energies towards the end of August going into September. Let's get to your reading, family. As you can see, I have two packs in front of me. And those are for you. Two energy packs. Both John Holland's. One's the Psychic Tarot Heart Oracle deck. The other the Psychic tar Tarot Oracle deck. So one's the Heart deck, one's the Oracle deck. These are going to tell us about your energies, if you're healing, on the way to healing, still hurting, in need of assistance. Let's get a read on your energies, family. It's going to be a short read, mind you, so don't expect nothing long. I'm hoping for 15 minutes, as long as spirit allows, as long as God allows. You know me, the cards have already been pre-shuffled, but I will shuffle them again for those naysayers in the back but your base energy is just dis disruption so i feel like a lot of things have been disrupted for you you've been keeping things in a lot of things from your past have been coming back to haunt you sorry for the glare i feel like you've been dealing with a lot A lot of tra traumatic issues, past events, trying to free yourself from this prison, trying to speak up, tell your story, trying to come to terms with what they did, with what that person done to you, what you did to yourself. I see you taking a real hard look at yourself, Cancer. Taking ownership for the shit that you did. But really wanting a sense of justice for those people that did you wrong. That person. I see you freeing yourself from the bondage that you've been trapped in for years. The cycle that you've been stuck in. I see you going deep. Diving deep within introspection. Number seven. I see you asking some deep, dark questions to yourself, to your mom, to your dad, to those people that let you down, to that person. Some of you are even questioning God, your faith. Something shook you up to the core, stopped you in your tracks. Some of you, it stopped your childhood altogether. It was the end. It disrupted it. Disrupted your upbringing, your home. Whatever this disruption was for you, I feel like you're making attempts to free yourself. You're coming out of it. You're breaking up. You're breaking out of bondage. You're breaking out of the jail cell. you've completed the cycle it's the end of that karmic shit for you some of this shit was generational it just wasn't even yours this wasn't your curse you've been walking in somebody else's shoes your ancestors and now you're coming to the end of a cycle the end of this disruption in your life going towards better days I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time. Let me just fix this camera. Sorry. Sorry, cancer. I'm disrupting your reading. See, disruption is the name of the game. But the mic was in the way. So I see some of you taking time out, being by yourself to deal with your demons, being alone. Going back through your memories, dealing with the pain. 
I see it's a matter of time. A matter of time. Just wait, have patience, I hear. Your prison is coming to an end. For a lot of you, I feel like you've come to an end of this cycle. You've overcome these obstacles and challenges. You've done it. There were so many put in front of you. Some of you had court cases. Some of you were facing divorce. A lot of you lost your jobs. Financial destitute. Didn't know how you was gonna feed yourself for some of you, your children. The breakdown of relationships. Partnerships, marriages. I see so much obstacles put in front of you. I feel like from the day that you was born, some of you just had a lot of challenges. You were born into a world of challenges. Your middle name is Obstacle and you overcame it. I see a bridging of the gap. I see you overcoming that very thing that was meant to stop you. I see a coming together of two parties, two becoming one. I see two holes making one. Perfect one. I see many things come to stop you from getting onto your path, your healing. I see you trapped in your head so much years. The Eight of Swords. I see you fearful of so much stuff. The past, the future, the present. Acceptance, rejection. Being alone. Not enough. Loved enough. Can be loved. Lovable. A lot of you went into a deep, dark depression, almost suicidal. I feel a cutting of the wrists. I feel someone slicing their wrist. I feel someone ripping their skin, pinching or ripping their skin or biting of the skin. Self-harming, someone not happy with themselves going back to this childhood, this childhood trauma, being told they weren't enough, not good enough, can't be loved enough. For some of you, this disruption came from a relationship, a violent one, a very violent one, caused for you to go within. But for most of you, I feel this is childhood, you fragmented yourself into pieces. This is me. Traumatized, split into a million pieces, detached, unemotional, not knowing how to love, trapped in fear, trapped in your head, trapped in a nightmare, just want to wake up from. I see you overcoming all of this. I see the light being shone on your life. I see you letting the light in, embracing it, becoming a light worker, telling your story, letting your story be the vehicle to drive you to your destination. As a wise guy, Muhammad Mahud would say, I think I said it right, I can't remember his name, but he says, let your brokenness, well I say let your brokenness be that vehicle, let the obstacles be the vehicle that driving force to get you, to drive you to your destination, literally, let that pain, that trauma,
There's a saying. You were supposed to be broken, Ma. You were supposed to be broken, King. But the light can come in. There was a different plan for your life, Cancer. I see you being a light worker. Healers. Leaders. Especially healers. I see people looking to you for healing, for guidance, direction, looking up to you. You're the light, you're the star. I see wish fulfillments, your dreams finally coming true. Your childhood dream coming true, the one you gave up on. I see you making positive movements to go forward in your life, not looking back, moving away from the bullshit. Some of you are moving home, moving country, moving town, moving states, moving postcodes, but you're moving and you're moving forward in a positive way towards your destination, towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards your marriage, towards your partnerships. I see you standing in your motherfucking truth, Cancer. Being successful at it. Telling your story. Cutting people off along the way that don't deserve your attention or your energy. I see you being triumphant. I see people looking up to you because you're the motherfucking star. I see you standing in your truth. Releasing yourself from bondage. Helping others to be released from bondage. Letting them know they're not alone. I see your life turning around. I see people looking at you like, wow. Can you remember so and so though? Can you imagine? Like you stepped it the fuck up. You used to watch people, now people watch you. I see you doing the damn thing. And here you are exhaling like Whitney Houston. But like she says, everyone falls in love sometimes. Sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes it's right. But for every win, someone must fail. And there will come a point where you will exhale. I see you releasing all of the toxic shit. I see you releasing your energy of this trauma. I see you being able to breathe. I see you embracing your shadow side. The one that you tried to hide from the world. I see you letting that child speak. On silencing her, on silencing him, on the abuse, on the sodomy, on the abuse, the neglect. Whatever your trauma was, I see you speaking up. I see you exhaling. I see new life being breathed into you, into your situation. I see you having clarity, clear mind. You're no longer fucked up in the head. No longer trapped. You have clarity. You have closure. You love yourself, all parts of yourself. You forgive yourself. You embrace yourself. <laughs> this card has come out in this read for everyone. Because you sought the truth, you stood in the truth. And you spoke the truth. came up out of your head, you unzipped your lips, and there you are, going onto stage, I see you, telling your story, reciting that poem, I see you healing as you heal others. 
I see you coming up out of your head and into your heart. I know you've been alone. Alone for a long time. Some of you have been kicked out of your mother's home, your father's home from long, from early, from childhood. Left out in the cold by family and friends, misunderstood, abused, neglected. I see you being a tower of strength for many, not having no one to lean on but people leaning on you. But I see someone coming in to be your tower of strength, to be your yin to your yang, your soulmate, your DM, your DF, your everything. I see love coming in. I see partnerships. Could be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. I see foundations. I see marriages. I see you being happy. And what did I tell you? clarity people you stand doing your truth someone telling you their truth i see someone proposing to you divine feminines i see a divine masculine telling you exactly how they feel i also see some of our divine feminines getting brave and popping the question themselves wanting more wanting marriage some of you just want commitment some of you just want to move into homes together I see people telling each other I want those kids I want more I want marriage I want the dream and I see you getting it and here you are cancer healing healing you released all of your traumas your pain the toxic shit and now you're ascending you're on a spiritual journey with God with the universe with spirit with Gaia whoever you want to call them I see you ascending into the spiritual planes. I see you as powerful now, coming into your power, understanding that you was the magician. You gave away your power. These energy vampires saw you as light and came to you like a moth in the flame, but you didn't know who you was. But now that you're healing or you're healed, you know exactly who you are. You know the power that you hold. I see you walking in it. Because you released yourself. You forgave yourself. You let the light in. You stopped walking in darkness. I see you embracing your angels, your ancestors. I see you ascending. This is why love has been released to you. You are now healed. You are healing. You've released the pain. You've released the hurt. You've released the rape. You've released the addictions. You've released the abuse, the domestic violence, the sodomy. I could go on. You released it. You're releasing it. Changed your focus, changing your mindset, changing your circles, changing your faith. Whatever it took, I see you doing, I see that you've done it, and for some of you, you're doing it. I see you taking a risk. I see you win or lose, you take a risk, and I feel it's about to pay off for you because here is your last card. Take a risk on love cancer. It's going to be worth it. You've always been given love. Now it's time for you to receive it. Someone wants to heal your broken heart. Someone is offering you their heart. They're also healing. But they want to heal with you. Win or lose. Till death do you part. 
I see your life turning around. I see healing, major, major, major healing coming over the majority of you. I see you coming out of your depression. I see you having patience, waiting for that soulmate, because now you know they're coming in. I see you ready to receive the highest energy of all. You manifested it because you made positive movements forward in your life. You overcame all those obstacles and those challenges that were presented before you. You aced them. You took some risks. And those risks are about to pay the fuck off for you, Cancer. Because win or lose, should I put it this way? You heal, take some risk. Bam, kagaboom. There you are. Happy as Larry. Over the moon. Diners at your wedding. Real happy. Real happy eating cake. Cake, 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 cake. Cancel. Your future is bright. Bright, bright, bright. You've got nothing to worry about. You've overcome so much shit. You're strong. I ain't got to worry about you, family. I was checking in on you to see if I had to come and put someone over my knee, give them a pet talk. But nah, you're good, fam. You're good, you're good, you're good. You lot on your way to healing. I pray a special, special prayer of healing over your life, over your family's life, over your special someone's life, if you have one, if you're by yourself, I send you peace, peace in your time of depression, peace in your time of loneliness, but this is temporary cancer, just take this lesson, because it's going to be your blessing, enjoy your time alone, because like I said, someone's coming in to either eat your cake, 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 or they want to be you to eat their cake, 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 cake. I say that right, I think so. But yeah, someone's coming in. Love is coming in. It's coming in. Healing, most importantly, is coming in. An ascension. You are ascending. Don't waste your gifts. Your message really is this. Use your pain. Use it. It can be your gain. I took my pain, and I'm here with you. Take your pain. It will bring you to a stage. It will set you up financially. It will heal you while you heal others. But win or lose, it's time to take that risk. It's time for you to speak and walk in your truth and stand in your truth. Speak up for those that are still silent. For those that have started talking, don't stop. Don't stop. There are a million, billion of you out there that need their voice to be heard through you. I see love coming in for you the moment you heal. I see you overcoming all obstacles. Not one. I said all. All obstacles. There's going to be some opportunities arising where you should be taking the risk. Don't be scared. Take them. With that special someone, it's going to pay off. Take a risk on love, Cancer. Because love wants to love you. But this is your girl, D. Virgo Tarot, out this bitch. So, yeah. Your girl, D. Virgo Tarot, two, 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 and another two. Sending you love, love, and peace, my family. Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you got it.